Man of Steel, Jake Short. Uh, I'm the ramp manager for US Airways. I'm also a professional flyer. I've been a pro since 2002. Uh, the, the 29th should be an exciting night of fights. There's a lot of good guys coming back that haven't fought in a while. They're going to be on the card. There's some good matchups that night, so it should be an exciting night of fights for not only the fighters, but for the fans as well. Um, my last fight was October 22nd in the UAE, which is the United Arab Emirates, and it was in the city of Abu Dhabi. It was in the Abu Dhabi Fighting Championships. It's an upstart program, but it's over there. It's mostly sheiks that run it, so there's a lot of money. They're throwing a lot of money behind it. You know, they pay you really good. They treat you really well. Within the next couple of years, that's going to be a major, a major show. Um, I fought Abdallah Abu Hamdan. They call him the hooligan. He's a Middle East Muay Thai world champion. They brought me in to lose, and it went the complete opposite way. You know, basically, I ground and pounded my way to victory and ended up uh, choking him out with a side choke. It was a completely one-sided fight. He fought off his back the entire fight. I fought my strategy, you know, I fought my fight, I made him fight my fight, and it was an easy win for me, easy money, and it was, you know, great exposure. You know, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not as easy as it looks, you know, fighting amateur fights and stuff, that's great, but it's not going to be a career for majority of people. I've been a pro since 2002, I have over 26, 27 pro fights, I've paid my dues, I still have a full-time job. I have a wife and kid to support. Fighting isn't the answer. It's great, but you can't depend on it for your livelihood. You gotta put in the time, you gotta put in the work, and train with your buddies in the garage or something, that's great, but if you wanna get better, you have to go to a legitimate gym and train with legitimate trainers that are gonna make you better. Plain and simple. A lot of the guys don't have good good cage work. They need to use the cage like it's a third like it's a third person. They need to work, angle back and forth, angle the guy into the cage because then he can't get away. Whether you're a grappler or a striker, if you're a grappler, he can't get his hips away to stop the takedown. If you're a striker, he can't get out of the way of the punches. Guys don't utilize the cage enough at all. You know, they don't use basic techniques. They try to do fancy stuff. Sure, it's great for the crowd, but basic techniques, if you get the basic techniques and you utilize those, you're going to be a lot more successful. I'm, I'm gonna make it exciting. You know, I do everything I can to make sure that you know the fights stay exciting. If there's too much, you know, if there's not enough action on the ground, if you, you'll watch, I'll do a five count with my hand, and I warn the fighters if I get to that five count, I'm standing you back up. I don't care if you're in mount. I don't care if you have the guy's back. If you're not fighting, I'm going to stand you up. And I'm not gonna. I'll kick your hand off the cage. You know, I'll do whatever I have to do to make it exciting. And I, I work around the cage so that I don't block anyone's view, whether whatever, whatever seat you have is going to be a good seat because the referee's not going to block the view. I'm going to make it as exciting as I can because I know everybody's short on money, so you're going to get your money's worth. I will make these guys fight when they get in the cage January 29th. It's, it's definitely an up-and-coming organization. It, it seems to me to get better and better every time. You know, better matchups are being made. You know, better fighters are, are being brought in. It's definitely on the up and up. You know, it's getting better all the time. And it is, you know, it's, in my opinion, I've seen a lot of amateur shows and it's one of the top ones in Michigan for sure. You know, I've fought in 15 different organizations, at least as a professional. And WXC's right up there. Even though it's an amateur show, it's still treating the fighters right, giving them the opportunity to shine. I actually, I bounce around to different gyms. I mean, my primary team is James Lee's Mash Fight Team, where uh, we were training on Farmington Hills, but we're in transition right now to another facility. And James Lee's Mash Fight Team is by far the number one team in Michigan, if not, you know, it's up in the Midwest. Because all the top fighters in Michigan pretty much all come together and train. But myself personally, you know, I'll teach anybody that wants to learn, you know, if and I'll teach anywhere. I'll go to someone's garage. If there's five, ten guys, you know, they break me off a decent amount of money, you know, I'll come in and teach. You know, I'll teach, you know, I'm willing to teach because the better these guys get, the more exciting the fights are, and the better it's gonna make them in the future. Uh, the, the easiest way to contact me is actually Facebook. You just search Jake Short on Facebook and it'll pop up, and I check it multiple times a day. And you know, I'm reasonable, I understand everybody you know, has a budget to work with, but I can work with everybody's budget. And if you are taking it serious and you want to be a professional fighter, you want to pursue this, it's not just a hobby, it's not something you do just to impress people, then you know, get a hold of me, you know, I'll work something out. Yeah, I, I enjoy teaching, it makes me better. 
and I feel I have a, a, a lot of credentials that I can, I can help you take your game to the next level.